I have found myself more than once having to record something extra on top of a almost mixed project because sometimes productions are like that. So I had to figure out a way to not get latency and be able to record practically on a mixing session, 80 tracks and tons of plugins. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about offset when recording straight from Mexico City. My name is Juanchis and let's get into it. Okay, so let's suppose for a moment that you have three different scenarios. You have three ways to handle this offset. Also, if for any reason, whenever you're recording, when you play back, things are a little bit behind or a little bit ahead. This is probably one of the reasons why this happens. You have to go into preferences and recording. You have these small options right here, and we will be going with different combinations of this. So first of all, I won't be using this one. I will leave this as zero, 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 and I won't use the audio driver reported latency. This also applies if you're reamping something straight into a mixing session. So what I did here is I'm going to sing without any delay compensation, and you should be listen, listening to me a little bit late. So what you can see here is that I was singing late because I was listening to me, to myself really late because I'm monitoring myself through the DAW itself. And this has a buffer size of 2000 and whatever. So monitoring through the DAW is probably not the right idea if you have a CPU intensive session. But what you can still take advantage of is using your physical audio interface, you usually have some physical button to monitor straight from the preamp and or you might have some software to actually switch that on and you can send the preamp straight into the headphones of, of somebody. This works great because now you can even add some effects on the session without latency being an issue. So for example, I create another track down here where I have a spring reverb and the vocal is going into the DAW. I have right click, disable master send. So I'm not listening this through the speakers or the playback of the multi-track, the stems or whatever I'm recording on top of. And for the send, you might want to use it post fader or I like to use it pre fader since I'm, since I'm just recording, uh, but any of this might work because your control to the send is this fader itself since you're not sending it to the master send or the stereo out. From here, it goes into the reverb. And now, since the reverb happens some milliseconds after the signal itself and it's fully wet, it really doesn't matter. There's a small delay with the vocals when recording. That way you can record straight into your DAW with latency inside of the DAW and using some effects while monitoring. What you won't be able to listen is maybe some EQ real time or compression real time. The thing is, if you actually measure the distance using markers and the action move cursor to transient in items, you can right click up here and instead of watching measures and bits, you can change it to samples, select between these two markers and up here you will get the amount of samples that you have to offset that input. I tried many ways, but honestly, you can change the offset in milliseconds in the input or do it by samples. But I didn't find any inconsistency when just using the audio driver reported latency. What this does is you will see that here I was pretty much on time and whatever was off, it was my fault and not the DOS fault. So you record and if you're playing back while you're recording, remember sending this to the master send, you will listen to yourself late, but it will be pulled back a little bit. So it doesn't make sense to do it like that. Monitor straight from your audio interface or the software of your audio interface and have the offset adjusted automatically according to your buffer size. And the manual offset works as well, but you have to change it every single time you change your buffer size. So for me, it simply doesn't make sense at all. 
If you like these kind of videos, be sure to check the videos on how to customize your toolbars, how to customize your send menus, the video I have on recording modes, or the series of videos that I'm making while discovering Reaper for a couple of years now, where I'm always sharing some of my favorite actions and so on. And if you like these kind of videos, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you always hear first and see first whenever I release a new video every single week. And do all of those things that people on YouTube say. Straight from Mexico City, my name is Juanchis, and thanks for listening.